my name is Miss Coltetti. My pronouns are she, her, and I work at Safe and Sound Somerset. Our organization provides services free of charge for anyone in our county, including teens and adults who is experiencing or has experienced violence from a partner or sexual violence. We're coming to your school soon to talk about sexual harassment. You might have heard that phrase before, and we're going to share some situations with you that you might see around you with friends or classmates. So you deserve to be safe around everyone. This includes someone you're dating or romantically involved with, friends, family members, and adults. If someone is threatening you or making you feel uncomfortable or unsafe or has hurt you, help is available. We will all talk about how students can speak up against sexual harassment and help a friend. So here's a quick look at some of what we'll discuss together. So when you have power and control, you have the ability to make choices for yourself, to set boundaries, and to give or take away consent or permission. These are all good things. And impact is greater than intent. The impact of your actions or how someone feels afterwards is more important than what you intended. So we have to define sexual harassment. What is it? It's a type of bullying with a sexual focus that relies on power and control and is done without consent. So here are some examples of that. Unwanted sexual comments or gestures, showing someone unwanted sexually explicit or suggestive photos or videos, sexual threats, spreading photos, rumors, or jokes, or sending sexual messages. Also, unwanted sexual touching, grabbing, or pinching, which is also assault. Pulling someone's clothes in a purposefully sexual way. Asking someone out over and over again after they've said no and non-sexual jokes or comments about gender or sexuality. And we really just want to emphasize that sexual harassment is against the law and school and work policies. We know that violence has many, often short and long-term impacts on someone who has survived it. And it is never the survivor's fault. And we wanted to share too that we have a 24 seven call or text helpline that's available to anyone for emotional support information on these topics. So our number is 866-685-1122. We're excited to meet you and we'll see you soon.